based on Greek mythology, study of Greek mythology, and the students chose a god or a goddess to research and create an iPad device, a mythological mobile device, based on the research on their god or goddess. And because our... And the goddess, um, Iris, the goddess of the rainbow. And I'm also a messenger for Hera, who's kind of like my master. So these are my apps. And the first one is Rainbow Runner. And so, um, since I'm the goddess of the rainbows, it's just a game, so like I can play with it. And um, the sixth water keeper is so um, every time the gods take an oath, I go and get water. So whoever is lying when they take the oath, um, they have to drink the water and then they'll get punished for about like a year. And then the oath tracker <coughs> is to see um, like who's lying and who needs to be punished and get more water. Books on iBooks, and so I'm also known as the goddess of hope. So I have the Pope, and um, since I'm the rainbow goddess, um, I have all the colors of the rainbow and dried a rainbow because it's good to know like, what it looks like and stuff. And then I have the messenger bird since I deliver messages to Zeus and Hera. Hi, my name is Artemis, and I'm the goddess of archery and hunting, and my twin brother is Apollo. And I got a silver tipped arrow, which I used to hunt with. Here's my camera roll, and there's a picture of me hunting, and I'm about to shoot a target. And then there's a picture of the deer I shot last week. Here are my books on my bookshelf, <laughs> and this book is called The Boyfriend Thief, because a lot of boys love me, which I don't like. So they leave their girlfriends to kind of me over. And I have a book called, uh, let's see, Smart Woman Foolish Choices. And this book is about choosing the right men and avoiding the wrong ones. And I like to have men as hunting partner, but I don't want them to be my boyfriend. So I have to find the right men that will only hunt with me. And then I have Girl Hunter, because I'm a girl and I hunt. <laughs> and then I have this one, my last book is called what, uh, Not One Damsel in Distress, and it's about folk, or it's about folk tales for strong girls. <laughs> and here are my songs on my playlist. I have Single by Natasha Benning, Benningfield, Single by Choice by The Bangles, Run for Your Life by The Fields, <laughs> and Colors of the Wind by Vanessa Williams, which is also in the movie. So I'm Daphne, and I am a nymph. And um, when I was running through the woods picking flowers, um, I got Apollo was chasing me, and I yelled for my dad to help, and I got turned into a tree by him by accident. So I'm a tree. These are my apps. I have True Good to measure how much I grow. Apollo Escape, which is I have to run away and try to get out before he catches me. And then I have Pretty Me, since I'm a new, because nymphs are very beautiful. And, and then I have my daddy, and I rely on my dad for a lot of things. So that helps me find him. Students had templates to fill um, that were created on Google Draw. Um, for, uh, they had to create apps. They had to do an iBooks shelf, uh, contacts list, email, screenshot, text messaging, camera roll. There were 12 templates all together. Uh, and it was a um, great way to synthesize research uh, and, and a creative way to get that brain tapping, other areas of the brain, to. Um, pull together something from two weeks worth of research rather than writing. So they learned how to write from first person perspective, how to do work cited for the first time, um, do their citations, um, edit each other's work. There was a lot of peer editing um, and a lot of chunking because this took us two and a half months to work around everything else that we do within the classroom. They had to read a myth as well and there were a lot of blog responses having to base around this and it was just a great learning experience. It was a great project. Hello, I am 
one of the three furies. We are the goddesses of revenge. And <laughs> <laughs> this is my part of my like apps that I have. The first one with this one is Hit the Human in HD form. <laughs> it is a game like where you just hit the human. And then I have I Torture Terms. Some of you might have like dictionaries on your iPad. I have in Torture Terms Dictionary on my iPad. So I can know all the newest terms when I torture people. Um, and then I have Good or Bad. So I can tell if someone's being good or bad. So I know whether to torture them or not. And then I have Naughty Tracker. So I can find all the people that I need to torture without like going and searching for them. And then this book here is just called Torture. Um, I haven't read it yet, but I saw a chair, and the book was called Torture, and I'd very much like to know more about this chair, and how it is used to torture people. And then I have a book called Revenge, also just to bounce around ideas, so I can figure out how to get revenge on people, like more ideas. And then I have Aries. He's one of my contacts. He's my flame. Um, Ares is handsome, strong, and fearless. Exactly what you'd expect from the god of war. Ares and I are good friends. In fact, we're a bit more than friends. We're nothing official. I don't think it ever will be. Ares and I had a wonderful child together named the Ismenian Dragon. We also had many other children. When the Ismenian Dragon was killed, Ares avenged its death by turning the killer and his wife into hideous serpents. It was very sweet. I'll never forget him for that. So, like everyone else, I got a lot out of this project. Not only was it fun to um, learn about Greek mythology and the Greek myths, it's all very interesting, but um, also, again, um, time management, like a lot of other people. I was having some trouble, but I think I finally got it down towards the end, and I know it's gonna help me later in other classes. And I learned how to manage my time better, <laughs> because you can't spend too much time on one slide. I thought the project was really fun. It wasn't like any project I'd ever done before. So um, it was a change. And um, it works well because, of course, like some other people said, we have the iPads and they're becoming really popular. And I thought it was really fun. I thought it was really cool since we're using iPads now. And next year it's required. So this was cool and really creative. And we also learned how to um, use our time like wisely because we didn't have a lot of time to work on each slide. Well, what I got from this project was I love doing it because it's really modern, how we made it modern with the iPads that we're using, and it was very fun, and instead of doing a boring report, I learned a lot of information about my goddess in a fun way.